Hello, dear friends. The 19th century image of a general with a mustache, dictator of a banana republic, has gone down in history because now there are autocracies disguised as democracy, but they are also in crisis. Opinion piece. The decline of dictatorships. The veil is no more. Reclaim your freedom. Everything comes in stages. Nothing is what it seems. Triumph of solidarity. The old order fades away. Autocracies masquerading as democracy. Let's start. Steve Biko says the day of the dictators is over. The only problem is that people are slow to realize the danger they face. As Matthew said, the day of the dictators is over and so is the day of supporting those dictators for selfish reasons. All that is based on darkness is fast coming to an end. As Divine Mother said, it is time for the old to simply disappear, not in screams of terror and agony, but in the peaceful and the smooth transition that allows human beings, children and the elderly to gently enter the new earth. Love it is time to win. In time, the forces of greed, hatred and arrogance will simply fade away. Crisis of leg Legitimacy Dictatorships often lack legitimacy as they come to power through undemocratic means of maintaining power through repression and violation of human rights. This lack of legitimacy can lead to widespread discontent among the population and the road support for the regime. As people seek more rights and freedoms, lack of citizen participation and government repression can lead to a crisis of legitimacy. The absence of free and fair elections, political repression and human rights violations erode public confidence in the dictatorial regime. Over time, this can lead to growing resistance and discontent on the part of society which can trigger political and social crises. Wolves in sheep's clothing. But the most dangerous case is autocracies disguised as democracy. The disguise of democracy can be effective in deceiving the international community and some sectors of the population, making it even more difficult to identify and address these covet dictatorships. There are cases in which authoritarian regimes try to present themselves as democracies. These procedures often use that tactics to appear as political openness and respect for human rights, but in reality they maintain a tight grip on power and limit the freedoms and rights of the population. These systems may conduct elections, but they are often manipulated or controlled in ways that ensure the regime's continuity in power. In these cases, democratic institutions and procedures are used superficially to maintain the appearance of a functioning democracy, while in reality political power is concentrated in the hands of a group of or leader who exercises authoritarian control over the state and society. This can include repression of political opposition, restriction of freedom of expression, manipulation of the judicial system, and the use of force to stifle dissent. Reset News Ranra says we will get VR as fast as the coalition can make it happen, but we could help by placing ourselves in the light of the love of the one infinite creator. Logan B opines that we now know the White Hat's plan to endure the darkness for another year and a half, but that the co-creators have a different plan because of Jung 
Fourth, the switch to the new divine ordering of Earth was flipped, and the Dark Ones have been told to live it to live in an orderly fashion. Buffner says the reason they have not paid that yet is because the banks do not have enough money. Chinese seniors have been prevented from paying VR for eight years. Benjamin Fulford reveals that the US corporations managed to avoid the fault with gold from the Thai royal family and Chinese royals. But you can't borrow 7.3% of GDP for eternity and get away with it. The Thai king was forced to change gold for treasury bills. The corporation was allowed to continue because the Japanese promised to change the political situation in late June or early July. A member of the Dragon family says that Chinese royals based in Taiwan were presided by King Charles, who promised to fund massive humanitarian projects, but reneged on his promises as soon as he got the money. The Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement entered into force on Friday for all 15 members. This means that the Chinese were handed control of Japan, South Korea, Australia and New Zealand. Elon Musk is in China and doesn't call for Taiwanese independence. He built factories and businesses in the People's Republic of China and supports cooperation on an equal footing. From these actions, it can be understood that sensitive forces are preparing Musk for politics. The Treasury floods the market with a trillion dollars in short-term Treasury bills, called T-bills, that are used to finance government operations. This is a computer-generated transfer of money from one ledger to another, and will take liquidity out of the financial markets. The White Hats are not taking all this lying down. A series of emergency meetings are being held in Canada, China, Japan and the US and elsewhere. According to Watcher Guru, 41 countries have expressed interest in joining the BRICS alliance and accepting the new common currency for cross-border transactions. 16 Asian countries ready to accept BRICS. Asian countries will use native currencies for cross-border deals. Asia is a 10-country bloc that includes Brunei, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, Mal Malaysia, Myanmar, the Philippines, Singapore, Thailand and Vietnam. The Gulf Cooperation Council follows ASEAN's example. Bahrain, Kuwait, Oman, Qatar, Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates express interest in joining BRICS. Saudi Arabia will finance the new BRICS development bank. Dutch farmers warn Prime Minister Mark Rutte that protests will continue and that they have the support of millions of people. People in China are rebelling against the CCP machine. Venezuela faces total collapse according to B. Venezuela is in a state of total chaos. The economy has collapsed with 436% inflation out of control. Venezuela has the largest oil reserves in the world, but despite this, its people are starving. There are shortages of petrol and medicine. It has defaulted on its debt obligations, and the currency has been devaluated 30 times, leading to the dollarization of the economy. Plans are already on the way, whatever happens in the coming days. We are at the beginning of the great global awakening project leading to a golden age. But for now, we are in the collapse of the power structures of the dark side. After the great collapse of 2023 and 2024, the golden age of 2025, 26 and 27 will begin. A fake invasion would be exposed, 
leading to the declassification of technology. Nothing is what it seems, and every action has a meaning. Everything comes in stages. Everything you are seeing is staged. Everything will backfire. This is called game theory operations. It unfolds the revelation as a tangled web, connecting the dots through various layers of power. As the summer heat intensifies, so does the pressure on those who have operated in the shadows. The moment of truth and justice is at hand, with revelations destined to send shockwaves through the corridors of power. Hold on tight as we enter the final phase of the devolution plan. Prepare for the ultimate revelation as the truth and the plan comes to light. Messages Archangel Michael through Lee Digani. The veil is no more. There was a veil that was lowered. The veil is now dissolved. You have become so accustomed to see the veil that you believe it is still there. Like the baby elephant that has a chain put around his foot. And when they take it off, you think it is still there. Know that the veil has dissolved. The veil is no more. Jesus through John Smallman. The time to claim your freedom is now. Freedom is your sovereign right as divine beings, and by living and expressing it, you honor yourselves and all others. You are all completely free beings, created free because love of which you were created and which is your true and divine nature. But But by its very nature, accepts and loves all of its creation totally and absolutely, without conditions or reservations of any kind. Separation is utter nonsense because there is only the infinite one, the divine energy field in which all that has been created or is or will be created is eternally enfolded in that one. There is no outside or beyond because it's only that infinite, all-encompassing one, within which each of you is held in an eternal loving embrace, embrace, and within which you have total freedom to expand creatively as far as you choose without limit. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.